Good morning, Parkville, and welcome to PTV News. My name is Carson. My name is Anthony. Today is Monday, November 13th, and it is a D-Day. And my name is Troy. We got important information coming up, so stay tuned after the pledge. I pledge, allegi I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with, ju with liberty and justice for all. PTV would like to give a birthday shout out to Ava Straw, Chris Bricio, Bricino, Cheyenne Thomas, Daniel Eddings, Sir Keith Jones, uh, Gage Lee, and Kayla Tuck. Happy birthday to all of you. With November being Attendance Awareness Month, month we, will, we will be spotlighting the homerooms who have zero absences each day. Congratulations to the following homerooms who had no absences or unexcused lateness on Friday, November 10th. Sixth grade, Mr. Bain, Ms. Mulvaney, Ms. Yurik, Ms. Thomas, Ms. Baños, and Ms. Stuchel. So with seventh grade, we have Ms. Weather, we Wetter, <laughs> Wetterbird, Ms. Monahan, 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 Mr. Fortunato, Mr. Ballard, and Ms. Arceo. Eighth grade, um, it's kind of sad we have Mr. Runk, and that's it. Um, yeah. Any students who are interested in joining campus life, please sign up outside Mr. Moore's room, room 211. Be sure to pick up a permission slip when you are there. Campus Life is a Christian club that is open to all students. They meet every other or Tuesday after school from 2.50 to 3.45, starting on November 21st. That's right, folks. The first meeting has been changed to November 21st. Hope to see you there. The Builders Club annual canned food drive starts today. You can donate any non-perishable foods to Miss Zimmerman in the dungeon, room 100. That's down by the auditorium if you don't know. Be sure to tell her who your homeroom teacher is so your homeroom gets, gets credit. The winning homeroom will receive donuts and hot chocolate. We will keep you up to date on who's winning this competition, so stay tuned. Bring in those cans. Do you like helping your community? A great way to do so is to donate to Toys for Tots a foundation dedicated to helping children who will not receive toys this holiday season. A drop-off box can be found in the main lobby if you are planning to donate. Please remember the toys must be new and unwrapped and bring them in by December 5th. A digital drama club casting crew. Drama club money will be due on December 8th. Please get money to Mr. or Mrs. Banos and Ms. Banos, only in room 205 by the state. Again, drama club money is due by December 8th. Today's special segment is a sneak peek behind the scene into the process of putting on a PTV broadcast. Check it out. Hello, my name is Anthony Zverev, and I am in 8th grade mass communication. We bring you PTV News, aired live every morning to give you valuable information that you may need to know before school starts. There are many things you didn't know about PTV, so I'm here to give you a behind-the-scenes look at the 12 jobs necessary to make this show possible. When you first come into the studio, you can see the cameras almost immediately. There are three camera operators. Each operator controls one camera. They are responsible for turning the cameras on in the morning and setting up the correct shot. They also need to make switches during the show if the script calls for it. Next, we have the anchors. You know who they are. They are the people who say everything. We have three anchors for each show, and all mass comm students take turns being anchor. They are responsible to turn their microphones on, reading their lines off the teleprompter, and delivering the news. Moving on, we can see the producer's desk. The producer has the script projected on the computer's screen, which is connected to the teleprompter. They then scroll down as the anchor speaks, maintaining their pace. There is only one producer.
Now, before we go into the control room, we have the floor manager, or FM. The FM does not clean up the floor like you may think. They are in charge of everything in the studio. They make sure the camera operators and anchors are doing their job properly. They also relay important directions to the anchors during the show using various hand signals. They also control the lighting. As we go into the control room, the first job we see is the audio operator. The audio operator is in charge of turning up the volume of the anchor who is speaking and muting the ones that are not talking. They also control the music volume. Next, we have the technical director, or as we say, the TD. They are in charge of listening to the director and follow their commands. They push the buttons to change the camera that is currently live. They also pull up all the pre-recorded segments when needed. The PC operator sits next to the technical director. They control anything that is seen on the computer. They pull up the various PowerPoint slides that are needed and display the pledge video for the TD. Finally, the last job necessary to make PTV possible is the director. They are responsible for giving out all show commands. They decide when the show starts and finishes. They also tell what shots to preview or to make live for the TD. Without the director, the show will not be possible. That's it for this behind the scenes segment of PTV. Thank you for watching. My name is Anthony Zverev and we now go back to the studio. And a little shirt back. Well, that wraps up our report for today. Thanks for watching from everyone at PTV News. My name is Carson. My name is Anthony. And my name is Troy. Hey, sit. Hey, Papa Parkville.